You've heard claims about puppy mills, dirty, overcrowded, inhumane, and you've heard that claims that many of those dogs bred in puppy mills end up for sale online and in pet stores. KDK recently traced some of the puppies for sale here in western Pennsylvania to some farms in the state of Indiana. Investigator Andy Sheehan went there to find out what is happening on those farms. Can I see this? Can I see this? These days, Jackson is a frisky little Jack Russell Terrier, but that wasn't always the case. I mean, look at him now. <laughs> He's all over the place. He's all over the place. But when you bought him, he... He didn't move. He didn't move. He slept the whole time. Cindy Ziegler says after purchasing Jackson at the Petland in Robinson, he would have died of pneumonia had she not spent thousands nursing him back to health. Now she wants to know why and asked to join us to find out where and how he was bred. We're going to go find your brothers and sisters, huh? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And our search led us here to Amish country in the southwestern part of the state of Indiana. These 20 square miles are home to four dozen small farms where puppies are bred. You can't often see them, but the sound of barking puppies fills the air here, emanating from closed barn light structures that are off limits to visitors and reporters. Can I take a look at it? Uh, not really. Our we, we don't usually let very many people look at it. You can see other kennels like this one from the road. Open air corrals with two or three dogs in each and a small fenced in run out front. I think that maybe the bar is set too low if we're deciding that that is the creme de la creme of dog breeding. These outdoor facilities seem better than the shocking images of stacked, unsanitary crates uncovered elsewhere by the Humane Society of the United States. But its senior director, John Goodwin, calls this mass breeding of puppies abusive. You'll see dozens and dozens of farms and uh, puppies. Puppies are the main livestock of these farms. In these communities where there's a lot of these puppy mills, that's exactly what these dogs are. They're just breeding machines, bred every heat cycle, pumping out puppies until their bodies wear out. Mr. Graber? Okay. Uh, are you Le Levi Graber? I am. Can I talk to you? Uh, we are talking. What can I do for you? Indiana State veterinary records show this past summer, Petland stores in Robinson and Monroeville bought 129 dogs from this broker distributor named Levi Graber the owner of this complex called Blue Ribbon Kennels, the main conduit from local puppy farms to the pet stores. Graber and the Humane Society have been at odds for years. He's just been notorious for you know, sick puppy complaints. We have a number of sick puppy complaints that go back to Blue Ribbon Kennels. CDC and Indiana Health Department records link Graber and Blue Ribbon to a puppy-borne disease which made more than 100 people sick some so badly they ended up in the hospital. They say that you sell sick dogs from puppy mills here in this Amish land. Is that okay. true? Is that true? Do you, do you sell from puppy that, that, mills? That is not true. It's the furthest thing from the truth. But listen, I have really, really important things to be doing here today. And uh, I understand what you're doing here. I understand what your motives are. We, you know, we love our puppies. We take care of our puppies the best way possible. In a statement, Petland defended the breeders and its procurement process. Quote, of more than 10,000 estimated breeders in the U.S., only about 1,700 are USDA licensed. Petland buys from the top percent of these breeders. It's true that most of the breeders here are licensed and inspected. And after years of bad publicity, many have begun working with Purdue University to improve care and are replacing enclosed kennels with in and outdoor facilities like this one. I don't see anybody here. No. According to records, this is where Jackson was bred. No one was home, but we saw more than 100 puppies and several Jack Russells in pens like this one making quite a racket. So this is where Jackson came from, right? Huh? It, it, it appears to me that this is where Jackson came from. See little Jackson. Yeah, it, I can see a lot of little Jacksons here, and it's very busy, you know. And when you see some of the, the puppy mills on, it doesn't look as bad. Right. They're not stacked up. Cindy found the place surprisingly open and sanitary. John Goodwin called it a mass production facility. The video speaks for itself. Uh, whether they have a tiny enclosure 
with a little area outdoor or a little bit more room, it's still huge numbers of dogs. And you know that they're not getting the sort of individual attention that they need. Now the Humane Society is pushing for the passage of Victoria's law in Pennsylvania. It would prevent the sale of these dogs in PA. Because it's hard for Pennsylvania to do anything about a puppy mill in another state. But Pennsylvania can say, well, you're not going to sell puppy mill dogs through our stores. And that's a good, strong step forward. This dog breeding is a way of life here among the Amish, and over the years, conditions have improved. But some believe that the time has come for this practice to come to an end. In Odin, Indiana, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.